when it comes to Derby Day in the second city. Everybody's wide awake, ready and anxious to get going. Gareth Barry. Well, he's done very well there. He's wriggled past three of them, and here's Petrov. Well, he scored an absolutely stunning goal from further out last week against Derby County. And the foul by Liam Ridgewell. Petrov keen to get on with things. Barry sweeps it wide. Melberg's out there. Carew's in the area. This is Nigel Rio Coca. Barry wants it played short. He's got it. Can he slip it into the middle? Couldn't pick out Gabriel Ekbon Lahore. It'll come to Ashley Young, what a goal! Ashley Young, sensational goal! His sixth of the season, and Aston Villa deservedly in front after 28 minutes. It's Aston Villa 1, Birmingham City nil. it's Ashley Young with the goal. Well, I mentioned earlier about so many of Aston Villa's goals coming from set pieces, but... This was from open play and absolutely superb. A slight miss hit there, but nothing wrong with that finish at all from Ashley Young, who's hit that magnificently on the half volley. It's a super, super strike. Mike Taylor had no chance whatsoever, and Villa have asserted their superiority. Four goals since his move here. As Cameron Jerome had to be quick there from Zat Knight. Nefty's in there. It was a great opportunity for the equaliser. If Villa could get a second one before the interval, that might be it. Just about the game over. 1 0, though, however superior you are in general play, you could never be totally sure. Villa may feel that they do need another goal to make sure. Ashley Young with it, and there is the second goal. It's John Carew's 11th of the season, and that is Aston Villa into the comfort zone and hot on the heels of Everton, and Birmingham a step closer to the championship, maybe. It's Villa 2, Birmingham 0. Ashley Young with the first, and now John Carew with yet another headed goal for Aston Villa. They've scored more using their heads than any other team this season. 16 it is now, and 36 of their goals have come from set pieces. And when you've got someone who can deliver the ball in like Ashley Young like that, with such expertise, such precision, it just needed a slight guide in, a steer in from John Carew, and Villa are 2-0 up as we approach half-time. Villa come again with Ashley Young. Rio Coca. Just behind him is Knight. Young. Chip forward and no flag. Gareth Barry is onside. Gareth Barry unselfish. It's 3 0. It's John Carew. And Carew gets his second of the afternoon. It's Aston Villa 3. Birmingham City 0. Three goals and three points are short, surely now. Eight minutes into the second half. Well, for the second time this season, John Carew's on a hat-trick. Got one earlier in the campaign against Newcastle. They were absolutely torn apart there, like the proverbial knife through butter. Gareth Barry teases it in towards Carew, and he just could not miss. Villa 3, Birmingham 0. Well, it's Derby Day delight now for Aston Villa. There is no coming back from this as far as Birmingham are concerned. Bauma. Oh, it's young. It's blocked. It's four. It's as emphatic as you like. And Ashley Young... Well, he's got Martin O'Neill dancing a jig down the side of the pitch. 
4-0 to Aston Villa. Ashley Young with his second of the afternoon. Well, it's another absolute goal fest, and he's created this one all himself. If at first you don't succeed, try again. Taylor defiant with his legs, blocking the initial effort, but it's gone straight back to Ashley Young. Well, at the moment, it's two for Young and two for Carew, and Birmingham are in absolute tatters. 4-0. Wiped out the uh, the goal difference with this one alone. Here's Forcell. It's 4-1. They've got one back. Murphy with the throw. Not a happy first Birmingham derby for the young left back. Mitchell had to cut that one out, but it's gone through to Gabriel Egbonlahor. Can he pick out Carew? Doesn't need him, it's five. All his own work as well. It's Gabriel Agbonlahor. He's in double figures for the season, and it's a nap hand from Aston Villa. Just when Birmingham were starting to show signs of a little bit of a revival, it's Aston Villa five, Birmingham City one. Brilliantly done by Agbonlahor. He was just teasing and toying with the defence, and Mike Taylor, well, he knew exactly where that was going to go. He'll be disappointed that he didn't get a full hand on that. But Agbon Lahore take nothing away from him whatsoever. It's 5-1. Well, it's been a five-star showing as well by Aston Villa. 15 goals now in three games. Well, they may have all come against relegation threatened sides but you've still got to score them. Well, he's got one more game in a Villa shirt at Villa Park before he heads off to Italy. Well, <laughs> it still means a lot to him. And that's his own personal salute. Just seconds remaining, and there are no more seconds remaining. It's another comprehensive victory for Aston Villa. It's finished Aston Villa 5, Birmingham City 1.